Welcome to the AACS Daily News for December 22nd, 2016. Duffy Pool Funeral Home has partnered with St. Joseph's Food Cellar to hold their second annual winter coach drive. The organization received an outpouring of donations and support, and they recently delivered the coats to be given out tomorrow evening. To learn more, we spoke with Funeral Director Ryan O'Hanlon. We are here for our second annual coat drive. It's another great success. The community certainly poured out um, and helped us tremendously again this year. Uh, we've got several coats to give out to all the people in need um, that really need these coats because we all know right now it's getting really cold, so it's a perfect time of year to, to distribute these coats for everybody who needs them. It, it's really our community. It's, it's, it's the people that live and work and you know, go to school with our kids. It's, it's our community that we all, uh, we all benefit from this because it's the people who are going through a tough time maybe at this time and they don't have the funds to really go out and buy brand new coats or you know they've got expensive uh, things to do in, in December because we all know expenses are normally tight uh, in the month of December uh, with, with Christmas and everything so it's just the people in our in our area that you know need the help at this time to to stay warm. We're gonna go to St. Joseph's Food Cellar right in Attleboro um, to distribute the coats for this week on the December 23rd uh, through the 30th. We have a great um, relationship with St. Uh, Vincent de Paul. St. Joseph's Food Cellar is right across the street from there. Um, so we just built a, a relationship with them, and we understood that you know, they, they need help sometimes you know, to give out coats, and we did a backpack drive earlier in the year at the start of school um, because there's, there's a lot of people in this area that, that need that help during the time. So uh, that's why we partnered with uh, St. Joseph's Food Cellar. The St. Joseph Food Cellar, it, it is a, such a success story here in Attleboro. They give people food, um, clothing, um, even housing sometimes when, when need be. So if you need help, it's, it's a great place to go. And you know, when, you, when you're really down and out and you need help, it, it shouldn't be an embarrassment to, to ask for help. Um, I mean, that's what's great about this Adderall community is that, uh, you know, our community helps out in, in so many ways, and it really benefits us all, you know, to be able to, you know, help out the people that are really in need. I'm Roberta Hebert. I'm here with the O'Hanlon family from Duffy Pool Funeral Home, and we are here at the St. Joseph Food Cellar, 71 Linden Street. We are affiliated with the St. Vincent de Paul Parish, and I am a volunteer at the St. Joseph Food Cellar here with these wonderful people. And we did a coat drive along with WARA, a winter coat drive. So this Friday, December 23rd from 6 to 7 p.m., we will be giving out, distributing all of these amazing coats. We'll have hot chocolate and cookies and carolers here and really have a wonderful Christmas event for the patrons of the St. Joseph Food Cellar. We don't care where they live, who they are. We're all in need at some point in our life, and these people come here. They know that they will be respected and treated well, and all are welcome. We obviously are a food seller, so we distribute food once a week, every Friday, 6 to 7 p.m. And at that time, if people are in need, if they need assistance that requires the help of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, the Vincentians would come into play, and we would... Um, send them over to the church and they could receive help from the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And also if they need help with SNAP benefits, we kind of hook them up with the people that uh, can help them to, to really just get their life moving in a positive direction. There's a phone number uh, okay. over at the parish office and that's 508-226-1115. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.